So there's my Thanksgiving dinner here in the United States. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and welcome to the vlog. This is what happens when you try to take off your shellac yourself a couple of minutes before your shellac appointment. Oh my God. What time is it? Let's see. Oh boy, okay, gotta go. Okay, I made it here, time to spare. Um, I didn't end up doing this nail at all. So I think I might end up doing um, bread on my nails this time. Uh, I'm gonna test it out before Christmas and if I don't like it, I'm gonna go back to white. First Christmas Starbucks drink and then I also got red for my nails. <laughs> Did I just wake you up, my sweet puppy? Yeah, I did. Sorry about that, buds. How are you doing? You giving the camera the side eye? We're gonna do a couple of uh, fun errands there today. I'll let you go because I'm about to drive. So it's another day in the vloggerhood. I'm in downtown San Jose. I think it's downtown in Japantown. I'm waiting for my friends um, and we're gonna hang out and I don't know what we're gonna do. So maybe I will take you along. I got um, some clothing back there that I want to take photos of and her the same. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do. But um, I don't know where we're gonna go if we're gonna stay around here. Um, and take some pictures or not. I think I showed you guys this, right? The red shellac. Um, and yeah, I filmed a get ready with me video today with, with this Burberry foundation. And I don't know if you could tell, the um, I overdid it on the blush, but then I had to blend the heck out of it. It is the Bobbi Brown blush from the Wine and Chocolate Collection from their holiday 2016. Anyway, I'm just wasting time here until she writes me back on Instagram, letting me up to her place. Hopefully my battery doesn't die. I got 48%, so that should bring me home and to talk to her at the same time. I don't have her phone number. Maybe I'll Facebook her and be like, hey, I'm here. I am loving my freaking foundation today. What was I going to say? Yes, the Burberry one, and it only works when I have a self-tan on, which is unfortunate. I should buy, like my winter color too because it's just oh I freaking feel flawless with it now I did I think it was two pumps for sure to do the whole full coverage it's not entirely full coverage it's like medium coverage and then I want full coverage for like photos and stuff um yeah I keep looking over there to see if she's like at the door I'm gonna message her oh was that her no that was not her yeah I'm gonna message her on Facebook and see if she's there oh I gotta show you the um the colors of the leaves here it's like I feel like it's rare that the leaves change in uh, California all I see is like palm trees and stuff okay there's not that many palm trees in California because they're not native to California I mean native to NorCal I don't know if they're native to Southern California or not oh my gosh there's a sweet little puppy sitting in the window hi little guy I love my outfit too I have like I'm looking all kind of Christmassy with my fossil bag that my old co-workers gave to me when I left my uh, previous job up in Canada. They gave me, they know how much I love fossils, so they gave me a purse. And here, why don't we do a little outfit of the day? Wearing this Joe Fresh sweater from last year, Christmas. I got it for Christmas last year, sorry. Um, this is from Etsy a long time ago. I wear it a lot, like every single day. I just take it off when I want to do my scrub for my self tan. These are from Ardeen, which is also from Canada. Now it's super zoomed in. My belt, American Eagle. Jeans, Zara. Shoes, well, I'm gonna go right there. They're from Charlotte Russe, so yeah, there's my outfit. And my hair straightener, T3. <laughs> I don't have anything on my lips. I actually brought this. Oh, I keep thinking it's her. It's not her. Shoot. Um, this is the Diorific Matte in 430 named Radius. Mm, it's French, I guess. It's it's a matte kind of nude. I'm going to put that on later today. Right before photos. Mm, I'm creeped out. I can't vlog in public. <laughs> Remember how I was a little... Okay, 
not nervous, but like a little eh about doing anything but white or black on my nails. I went and got them done and I actually really like them. Um, they're not as thin as my previous girl, but my previous girl makes my nails grow out really quickly. And this girl doesn't like, not thick, cause I hate thick and I would complain, but they're like medium thickness. The girl that I went to before made them look really thin. Like it was one coat of nail polish for instance, but this girl is nice, but I can make them last like three and a half weeks without getting them done. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. Um, I am early. That's probably why she might be in the shower or something getting ready. I'm vlogging to entertain myself. Can you tell? Oh, the little poochie. He's looking out at the window at me now. Hey, buddies. Do you like my mascara? <laughs> Can you tell I'm like keeping time being bored? Why do people steal shopping carts? I mean, I never stole a shopping cart to carry my groceries. Oh yeah, this is what I was saying. Do you like my mascara? I'm using, what is it called, Wet n Wild. It's in the yellow tube. It's a volumizing one. I think it looks freaking wicked. I don't wanna to touch too much around here because I don't got no hand sanitizer. Hmm. See, easy peasy. Kinda matches my blush. Maybe I'll turn on the music and play some jazz. My husband doesn't like jazz that much. I mean, like he doesn't mind it, but I put it on when I'm driving to relax me because road rage over here, not that bad. I'm honestly not that bad. It's just like, I get frustrated, you know? No, my hair is separating. I hate it when it does this. This is uh, thin hair problems here, right there. I hate it when it does that. I need to um, brush my hair too a little bit. Make it look good and thick for pictures. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you the leaves. Okay, seriously, I should let you go because I don't know how much battery is gonna last in this phone, so better not vlog it all up, hey? Talk soon! So I just filmed four videos in a row and now I'm absolutely starving, so I'm going to head out and grab a Trader Joe's pre-made salad um, and eat that because I don't want to make anything. While I do feel productive with video making, I do not feel productive enough to make something in the kitchen. First world problems. Oops, I left the light on. Hmm, I wonder how long that's been on. I think I film like every single time that I go to Trader Joe's, so maybe I won't take you this time. But I will buckle up and I'll probably, oh. How much gas I got? Quarter tank. Um, I'll talk to you when I get back and show you my yummy lunch. Okay? Bye! I feel like this vlog is all over the place. Um, I'm sweating because I got ready quicker than I thought I was going to. I'm heading up to Oh my god. I see Bill. Come on. I'm heading up to Lauren's house and we're gonna go to San Francisco. Like I said, I'm sorry that this vlog is lacking structure, but I kind of like it when vlogs are like all over the place as well um, and not like structured, <laughs> for lack of a better term. I feel very Christmassy today with my, um, my red outfit and I got kind of like cowboy boots on. They're, um, I bought them at Target when they were in Canada. Um, oh my God, I'm like sweating. I hope my phone, I hope everything is blended like normal. It's hard to tell. Otherwise I am very bronzed because I don't think I'm that bronzed. We'll see. Anyway, um, the reason I'm going a bit slower than usual is because I know that there's uh, something blocking my um, garage door right now. So, while I talk to you, why don't I enter in Lauren's address? <gasps> 18 minutes, oh my god. I didn't realize it was gonna be that long of a drive, shoot. Okay, see you soon, Lauren. So, I've arrived earlier than anticipated. I didn't expect it to be so rainy in the city, this city today. I hope I'm not blocking that guy in too much, hold on. I'm gonna message Lauren, tell her I'm here. Whee! I also just buckled up some goodies for Lauren. The perks of having blogger friends, you can give each other blog stuff. 
I wish I had time to grab some uh, lip stuff. I forgot to grab, um, I wanted to bring hand cream. Ooh, I do, it's hidden. I got the color Brown 4 by Bobbi Brown, that little tiny mini. I feel like all I'm doing in this vlog is talking to you guys in different cars all the time. Usually I'm right on time. If somebody says 3.15, I'll be there like at 3.14. Um, I used to be super early, but then I'm like, that's a waste of my time. I can be picking out different lipsticks to put in my bag, you know? Okay, I don't think I told you guys where we're going. We are headed up to San Francisco to go to a Brit & Co. event with Method. Not sure what to expect from it. I was assuming it's going to be kind of a Christmassy event. I don't know if it is or not, but I'm kind of dressed all kind of Christmassy with my... I showed you already. My outfit. Okay, bye. Talk to you in Lauren's car. in the dark. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is typical. Night of a vlogger walking on the streets of San Francisco. There's a lot of goodies. I'm so excited. I'm going to do a giveaway. Ah! So Lauren is the most hilarious person on earth. And she made me cackle on the streets of San Francisco because she not really she didn't run over a baby Bjorn which I didn't know what that was it's a baby carrier and <laughs> I'll tell you the story later hey Lauren Hi. thanks for driving always <laughs> you guys check out my bomb thanks for sponsoring your what no pump Today is December 1st. It's that time of year again where I bring in my wedding ring combo, wedding set, engagement ring, wedding ring set, and uh, get it inspected for warranty. They said that it might not be back by the time that I leave for Newfoundland. So it's December 1st. I would assume it would be back by whatever day that we leave. Oh my gosh, so um, they were like, do you wanna put a rush on it? I was like, well, how much is that? And they're like 35 bucks. I was like, I'm not gonna pay a rush. I mean, they'll hold it until January, won't they? I, I, actually, I asked them that and they said yes, but. It feels so weird. Twice a year I'm ringless for like a week or so. So I gotta find my fake ring and then I gotta go in 15 minutes to meet with somebody, which 
I got a lot on my plate today and I just want to sit down for like four minutes just to, you know, I was about to say decompose, <laughs> but I mean decompress uh, before a lot of stuff happens again today. Oh my God. You got your baseball t-shirt on? Huh? Alfie's such a loud eater. I forgot to tell you that uh, I'm going to a anthropology event tonight in Palo Alto and I'm going to see Lauren again and I'm also going to see Elizabeth and um, another girl, I forget her name, but, and maybe I'll vlog there and then end the vlog there for the week. Okay, so I'm just editing the vlog now and I didn't realize that I kind of didn't explain where the event was. I'm filming here at Stanford Shopping Center. It's kind of like a, I don't know, I feel like it's a rich area for shopping. Um, there's lots of fancy stores like Neiman Marcus and Louis Vuitton and Cartier watches, etc. But there's also like like Sephora, um, Free People, Anthropology. But this Anthropology and Co. place that I'm going to, um, I think it's one of the largest stores that they've ever had. Um, I did quite a lot of filming in there last night um, and then I ran out of space for my phone so it might end abruptly and I apologize for that. But the store itself is enormous and absolutely beautiful. There's like a bridal section, there's a terrarium section with all kinds of live plants and you know air plants, Christmas wreaths, you know, you name it, you got it. And then there's a freaking restaurant inside the store. like. How unreal is that? I didn't realize that I wasn't at the front of the store. I was at the, I was entering towards the back of the store. So uh, the front has the actual restaurant um, and I didn't get a chance to like view that. But anyway, we were there for a styling holiday event. Um, I didn't end up getting styled because I didn't really want to, but I did want to check out the store. So that's kind of what I'm doing, showing you guys uh, around. And now I'll play some music <laughs> because I don't know what else to say. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Okay, bye! Hi ladies! Thank you so much for joining us tonight for our styling event. It's the first event of this kind that we've done. And we just decided we wanted to get really excited about just what winter trends we have. We're welcoming you into this beautiful new store. There's a lot of merchandise. So I know it can be a little bit difficult to navigate all the floors and all the product and that's why you have an exceptional styling team at your fingertips tonight especially and we generally there will always be someone in the building to assist you. I'm Beth, I'm the head stylist. This is Marianne, one of our part-time stylists. We have Pam, one of our styling experts here as well. I think Tiffany is off and running with a customer. She's our full-time apparel stylist. We actually also have a home stylist downstairs so don't think that styling ends once you're outfitted head to toe. You'll also find styling services in our bridal department shortly around the corner. For this fall, we're really excited about lots of fur, lots of texture, lots of layering, kind of high-low outfitting ideas. I know I heard Marianne talking through, for example, this beautiful beaded dress with actually one of our Pilcro denim jackets outfitted on top. Actually, it's a great way to dress something like this down, make it purposeful for a Tuesday.